from the local station. This is Weather Authority Weekday. Good Wednesday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Mark Collins. We're taking a look at some pretty ideal weather here. We're not looking at much rain, temperatures comfortable, and that stubborn breeze, well, it's going to lay up a little bit, but still pretty breezy out there. But all that is contributing to some nice weather. We're not dealing with those 90s, right? Showing you the views outside over Jolington Creek, where it has been some pretty good sailing weather. The for recent days. It's been choppy on the river, but those winds have certainly kept boats moving out there. And we are going to be looking at a pretty nice weather pattern with less rain in the outlook, a little less breeze here. And we're also going to be taking a look at the tropics. First off, let's cover the bases here on the home front. There has been this area low pressure just a few hundred miles north of Grand Bahama Island in the Bahamas. That has moved further north. You see that first L on the right screen. It's also weakened. So that low combined with the ridge of high pressure over the eastern seaboard has really caused those northeasterly winds to stay elevated the recent days. But that low moves away, weakens, and so our winds will start to decrease. Now, that stalled front over South Florida will start to backpedal by the end of the week, and that's going to bring up the humidity somewhat. But today, I think we're dealing with enough dry air where it's going to make it too difficult to really see any meaningful showers. We had showers on the breeze yesterday. I think today, if we see anything swept in on the uh, northeast flow. It's mainly in St. John's and Flagler counties, and that would leave the majority of us looking pretty dry. Temperatures started out in the 70s. We're in the 80s. We're going to stay in the 80s through the afternoon, topping out mainly around the mid to upper 80 degree mark. You can thank that northeasterly flow for keeping those temperatures uh, down a bit. Also, the rip currents are staying high because of those onshore winds, but those waves will be slowly subsiding, but it's probably still pretty choppy because we'll have some gusts today as you can see in that green uh, contour shading of around 20 or higher so 20 to 24 mile per hour winds today with around uh, 10 to 15 over those inland zones those winds start to collapse as we head into the evening tonight and then tomorrow those winds will not be gusting as high as today in fact thursday we're looking at wind speeds under 15 miles per hour so i said how it's going to be pretty dry you can see here rainfall forecast called for that. Uh, nothing really showing up in the rain gauges, maybe a hundredth or just a trace of an inch of rain around Flagler County, portions of maybe uh, Alachua over to Putnam County. You might see a brief shower or two, but nothing too heavy. A little more moisture locked up in those southern zones of our viewing area and then a better opportunity for rain along the I-4 corridor. So that takes you through this afternoon with rain mainly staying to the south. You can see how tomorrow, once more rain locked up over central Florida, Florida. We'll keep rain chances at around 20% uh, for today and tomorrow in our southern zones only. Now, as a weak area low pressure in the Gulf, I'm talking really weak, no tropical development, tries to cross the state, it's going to lift that stall front over South Florida back to the north. Now, initially this week, we're looking at just a trough of lower pressure, but eventually we may see a warm front come through and eventually we'll probably get a little bit of rain coming out of that over the weekend. So we're looking at just scattered showers for Saturday and Sunday. So I talked about how that nor'easter, the local nor'easter that we've been dealing with, will start to subside. And you can see how those waves do drop off from where they were around six to seven feet yesterday down to about two feet on Thursday. And they stay pretty calm into the weekend. So better boating conditions until our next local nor'easter develops. That looks like it would take place Tuesday to the middle part of next week. So almost a week apart, you can see how those winds increase. Now this is the European model pretty strong and showing that ridge of uh, high pressure over the Atlantic seaboard increasing those winds. This would not be anything tropically driven, but that would make for rough conditions, better surfing conditions here as we head towards the end of the next week. And it looks like even into next weekend. So this is definitely a, a good time to be surfing as we head into September. Now let's talk about the tropics because we're going to take you all the way out on the visible satellite to the middle of the Atlantic, I put that trough line in. You see that brown dash line. That is at 30, uh, 30 west and about 15 north in latitude. And so it's way out there, right? If it were to continue moving west, let all the models are showing, it wouldn't even get to the Lesser Antilles until a week from today. So we're talking about a week at sea. And this is a 
just a disorganized system right now, but it does have the potential of developing into a tropical storm over the next several days. That red area shows the general path towards the west-northwest, and uh, right now there's a 70% chance over the next five days of this developing. None of the models show it impacting the United States, but I'm gonna show you here coming up uh, two of the models, the GFS, which is in uh, white, and the European model in yellow. Now I'm showing you streamlines, and where you can see that donut shape, that's the European model being a little bit stronger, more organized with the system, and taking more of a southern track, whereas the GFS in white uh, keeps it as a broader trough and then lifts it further to the north. Models are in pretty good alignment and uh, pretty good confidence that it's going to be moving towards the Lesser Antilles through the weekend into early next week. Now, where they start to diver diverge would be after the middle part of next week. So we're looking at a week from today, which is what you tend to expect. Models are usually good over the next seven days. And when you get on the social media and people are posting something that goes two weeks out, obviously there's not much skill in those models. But I'm gonna show you that anyways, just to um, show you maybe some trends. And both models do not impact the United States. So the trend is like we've seen all season, long wave trough, jet stream, troughs digging along the eastern seaboard have been deflecting these storms and turning them to the north. And I still see a series of those troughs protecting the United States. Now the GFS does take this system very close to Bermuda. You can see the white streamlines there aiming towards the island. And then late in the forecast, uh, the GFS gets stronger than the Euro, which weakens it all together somewhere near the Greater Antilles, like close to Puerto Rico or Hispaniola. That's not this weekend, that is a week from this weekend. So we are talking so far out that models really don't have a great amount of skill at this time frame. But it shows you that over the next two weeks, we're gonna be watching this wave. This is the same wave that seven days ago I mentioned was over Central Africa in Chad. So. If you want to really take it far back, you go, go, go to the Ethiopian highlands to see the seedlings, these monsoon tropical waves that roll off of Africa. That's where they start. So we'll have plenty of time to watch that system. No other threats in the Atlantic other than that main tropical wave, uh, other than nor'easters. And as we saw this week, those nor'easters can cause large waves and uh, cause some erosion along the beaches. All right, so over the next couple of days, we've got light winds and temperatures will, which will be warming because those winds drop off. That means a warm up coming your way. We get back into the 90s, the humidity creeps up a bit into the weekend as well. And we're looking at those widely scattered showers here over the weekend. In general, it's gonna be a pretty warm and steamy weekend with not much rain to cool you down. Uh, so I do think compared to last weekend where we had the rain, the nor'easter, this one is shaping up to be even better better before we see our storm and rainy patterns start to pick up into next week. So that's a look at the tropics and a look at the pretty nice weather at, outside today. Make sure you get out and enjoy it. We'll see you same time, same place tomorrow. See why every day more people are choosing new for Jacks, Northeast Florida and South Georgia's number one source for local news.